written by Catherine Payne and illustrated by Neil Katonge. The sun beamed as Tun Pedro shakes sand into a hagen. Wow! Juan said. That's cool. Si tu os masi. Tun Pedro thanked him. Can I try? Juan asked. Unken. Tun Pedro replied with an encouraging smile. Guau si Tun Pedro. Nyot. Juan replied as he took Tun Pedro's hand and sniffed it. It's nice to meet you. Dios te ajude. Tun Pedro said softly. Hadi na anmo. Guau si Juan, but my friends call me Dofi. Juan replied with a smile, revealing his missing tooth. I know your grandparents, Tim Pedro said. He waved to Juan's grandmother, who was weaving coconut leaves into baskets under the shade of a canopy. Your grandfather is my primo, he said. He pointed to Juan's grandfather, who was fishing with a taladza. Our grandmothers are sisters. Working together, Tim Pedro and Juan shaped sand into lots of laddie stones, until whoosh! A big wave swept away the sand sculptures. Oh no! Juan screamed. Taza guaha. Tun Pedro calmed him. You can make another one. I can. Juan asked. Shaggy. Tun Pedro said, inviting Juan to try again. Juan scooped up sand with his tiny hands. The next afternoon, Juan followed Tatsun Bihu and Nanan Biha to the Chepchep Unai where the land meets the sea. While Tatsun Bihu cast his taladza, Nan and Biha wove baskets to hold fish. Juan stayed at the shore and shaped sand into all kinds of sea creatures, from Putsu and Tasi to Halu'u. The sky was darkening by the time Tatsun Bihu came back to shore. Juan, it's time to go home, Nan and Biha said. Can we come back to this Chep Chup Unai? Juan asked. Unga. Nan and Biha said, I hope it will always be here for you. Did you hear about the sand sculptor contest at the fishing derby? Tata and Bihu asked. Ahi. Juan replied. The winner gets a taladza. Tata and Bihu said. Like yours, I want one. Juan said. Whether you win or lose, I will show you how to use a taladza, my boy. Tata and Bihu said. And when... Ever you win or lose, we're proud of you, Nanan Biha added. On the morning of the contest, Juan's hands were shaking. Once he touched the warm sand, however, they became steady. As Juan shaped sand into a sockman, a crowd formed around him. Atanha, a woman said, pointing at the canoe. Maulik, a man replied, appreciating Juan's work. A tall woman named Tossi blew a kulu informing contestants that their time was up. Mafakpo, Tasi exclaimed. The judges are going to walk around and look at the sand sculptures. The judges made their way to Juan Sakman. Parkunhu, you are a talented sculptor, a judge said. Sudus Maasi, Juan replied. Tasi blew her kulu again. Her voice boomed. Esta Ora, I'm going to announce the winner. Juan and the other contestants gathered in the shade of the coconut trees. The winner is Tun Pedro Cruz for his Guma Ladi, Tossi said. Tun Pedro walked over to the judges. A judge who looked like a Magalahi handed him a taladza. Feeling a little sad, Juan plopped down near his sakman. This is the nicest sakman I've ever seen, Tata Bihu said to Juan. I can imagine our ancestors sailing the deepest seas with it. Half a day, Tim Pedro said as he approached Juan. Golf Malik and now, he added, pointing to Juan's sculpture. Sejus Maasi. Juan thanked Tim Pedro and rose to Nini his hand. Dios te ajude, Tim Pedro said. I knew you would build great sand sculptures. I learned from the best, Juan said and smiled with gratitude. Esta, Tim Pedro said. Adios, Juan replied. Congratulations, Juan said. Viva, Tun Pedro exclaimed. Juan continued to build sand sculptures at the Chep Chip Unai. As he grew, so did his sculptures. They became bigger and more beautiful. One might be afternoon, Juan was making a sand sculpture of Magalahi Gadao in his canoe 
when his little cousin Isa approached him. Primo, that's nice, Isa said. Seduce my Asi, Prima, Juan replied. Can I try? Isa oh, asked. Ungan. Juan replied with an encouraging smile. Working together, Juan and Isa shaped sand into lots of laddie stones until, whoosh, a big wave swept away the sand sculptures. Oh no, Isa shrieked. Tata Guaha, Juan calmed her. You can make another one. I can, Isa asked. Saggy, Juan said, inviting Isa to try again. Isa scooped up sand with her tiny hands.